Hey guys, how's it going? Hasib here. Welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the submit button text in a Go High Level survey. So on screen, you can see a Go High Level survey. This is the back button. This is the next button. And if I go all the way to the end, this is the submit button. So I want to change all these texts. As you can see, this is not even a text. This is like an icon. And this is the submit button text, which says submit. And I'm going to show you how to change all these this was a question that I was asked uh, recently a lot. So I thought of making this video. So make sure you subscribe to the channel to get more updates like this. And without further ado, let's dive in. So I have this code. This is an HTML code. Uh, this code will basically change all these texts. And if I come over here, which says, uh, please replace the text within the quotations and stuff. So this is the variable that changes the next button, which is, uh, which is this button. And this is the one that changes the back button, which will be replaced by the text previous and the submit button. I'm going to call it finish. You can call it whatever you like. So the question is, this is an HTML block. So where do I put it? So I just copy this and I go to the survey. And in the first slide, I am going to take an HTML block from here. You will find it in standard. So I'm going to say HTML all the way to the end edit script and paste the code here save survey simple as that so now if i just refresh this page i will see it says forward the back button says previous and if i go all the way to the end let's see what it says okay it says finish so this is all we need right so this is how you can change the previous the forward or the next and the submit button in a go high level survey if you want to style if you want to customize the survey according to your colors and just remove these and make this a bit prettier just watch my video on how to style a go high level survey I've, i'll link the video in the description i will link this code in the description too so you can use it and i'll see you in the next one and make sure you subscribe before i go see you in the next one cheers